Hello everyone. I know it's been a while. I think it's been out over a year since I've posted on this channel. Um, so yeah. So 2022 was not the greatest year for me. I had some pet losses. I lost my motivation for creativity. I barely wore Lolita. There's been some other stuff going on in my personal life. And overall, it was not a great year. However, I want 2023 to be different and I'm feeling a lot more motivated. So hopefully you will see more Lolita fashion videos on this channel in 2023. This video is part of the Happy New Year's collab from the Lolita Fashion YouTuber face from the Lolita Fashion YouTuber Facebook group. Um, so I highly recommend checking out their videos too. Um, there will be a playlist. I will either link it a link in the description somewhere when once the playlist gets released. So please check. All the other amazing Lolitas on YouTube. So ironically the last video I posted was also sort of a Lolita goals video for 2022. Um, so I think it'd be interesting to go back and see what I actually did accomplish and what I didn't and whether I have similar goals or different goals for 2022 or for 2023. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. So, I will, I made like a couple of graphics for this, so I'll probably post it like somewhere over here so we can look at it and go through it. So on this list, the first thing I have is leg wear. I did get some leg wear, but not as much as I would have liked. I need, I definitely need more OTK socks, tights, all that stuff in my wardrobe. So I'll be getting more of those. I literally got no jewelry. Jewelry is one of the uh, components of my wardrobe that is severely lacking. Like I, I don't even really wear jewelry in my normal wardrobe. So it's, when it comes to Lolita, it's something I really need to just look out for more because like I'm not even wearing any accessories really in this cord right now. And I can tell that it would probably look a lot better if I did. Also, if you do have any jewelry suggestions, like shops, whatever, please comment below. Rays in different colors and more bows. Um, I did get some new headpieces, but not as many braids. I, the only braids I got was this brown one, and I got this black one with little pearls on it that my friend gave me for Christmas, but other than that, I have not gotten any more braids, so I will definitely get more this year and invest in some more headpieces. Cardigans. Pink and red. I, I wanted pink and red cardigans, and I did get cardigans, but they were all white, so <laughs> I, I kind of did the goal, but not really, so I'm definitely going to get more cardigans this year. A wood wicker bag and or a simple white heart bag. I didn't get the wood wicker bag, but I did get a white heart bag. And honestly, it's like my favorite bag that I have. Granted, I only have one other Lolita bag, but the white heart bag is like a perfect size. It goes with most of my dresses and it just fits nicely in my wardrobe. Um, I would like to get the wood wicker bag, but to be honest, I would also just like to get more bags in general. Um, so yeah, if you have any suggestions for that, please comment below. Shoes. White or red tea parties and Oxford boots. I only got the red tea parties. I didn't get anything else, but I definitely want to get white tea parties and some sort of Lolita boot because the only boots I wear with cords sometimes are like my casual boots if I'm just wearing Lolita casually. And... Certain dresses it looks okay, but in other dresses not really, so yeah, I definitely need to invest in some sort of Lolita boot. So the next one was to only buy one dress. I did not, unfortunately I did not follow this. I actually got, well, 
I technically got three dresses, but the one was a gift for my husband, so I don't think that one counts. But the first dress I got was actually the one I'm wearing now. It's by Royal Princess Alice, and I think the name of it is Petite Garden. It was an Easter print. I couldn't help myself. I love Easter. <laughs> um, I also got one of my dream dresses, and I can't- it's by Baby the Starshine Bright, and I can't think of the name off the top of my head. It's like- it has the word Bambi in it, but I'm just gonna have like- here's like the name of it. Unfortunately, my dream dress is a little tight, so I might have to get it altered, unfortunately, but it is what it is. It's- sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. No impulse buying. And save up for hauls or get good deals which for the most part i did pretty good outside of getting this easter dress that i'm wearing right now i didn't really impulse buy so good job the things i have to buy have to go into other pieces i think i did pretty good i usually when i buy like accessories or blouses and things like that i try to make sure that it goes with other pieces in my wardrobe or at least one or two other dresses because i don't want to just buy like something that will only go with one dress and that's it. I'm not saying that everyone has to follow this rule, obviously. This is just my personal rule for myself. And so far it's been working very well for me. So now that we finished looking back on 2022, my nose is running. Oh, Jesus. Let me try that again. So now that we finished looking back on my goals that I set for myself in 2022, what am I gonna do in 2023? Well, I decided that this year I really want to focus more on getting accessories, headpieces, socks, maybe more blouses, especially blouses in other colors would be nice. And I'm going to try to do the rule of if I do get a dress or a main piece, whatever, it has to be only one. I need to focus more on diver di the diversifying my wardrobe, not adding more pieces with nothing to court it with, you know? Also, 2023 is the year that I'm no longer going to become a lone Lolita. I'm gonna start going to meetups, and actually my first meetup is in February. I'm going to a chocolate whiskey and wine festival. Maybe, I don't know if I'll do this this year, but I would also love to host a tea party somewhere, like a small one. It'd be kind of cool, but we'll see. And then the last goal I have for 2023 is to document my cords more. I got a phone tripod recently, so it's a lot easier to take photos now. And I didn't, when I did wear Lolita last year, I didn't really post, I didn't really take any photos. So I, there's not really, obviously there's nothing to show for it, I guess. But So yeah, that's, that is my goals for 2023. Hopefully, I'll actually follow, follow through with most of them, if not all of them, we'll see. So yeah, if you have any Lolita goals, feel free to comment them below. Um, also, again, check out the other videos on this collab, because there's I'm sure there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of great videos, and there's a lot of really interesting and fun Lolita YouTubers out there, so please check them out. Anyways, I will head off, and I hope you all have a good day and a great 2023. Bye-bye!